Hi everyone, this is Grant Abbott, CEO of Lightyear Docs, and I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, run through of the features of Lightyear Docs, particularly if you haven't used it before, because there's some uh, really important uh, tips and traps and strategies to get you through. First off, you can see the front page here. Up here on the right hand side, you can see that I'm logged in as an LY strategist which means I've got unlimited documents. Um, LY firm or licensee, you'll also have unlimited documents. So you can just basically eat and play and create whatever you want, which I'd encourage you to do, particularly around the wills and testamentary trusts and SMSF wills, do some for yourself. If you're just simply buying per document, then what I would do is you'd uh, obviously be logged in and you'll be able to access that document. Down the bottom right hand corner, you can see the support ticket. This is absolutely crucial. Um, put your name, your email address, how can we help you? Look, if you've got a particular issue, you don't know what document, we do have a document for absolutely anything. Um, and if you uh, are short, we can create a document within the space of a day or two. So simply say, look, what document do I use for this? I've got this, I've got that, I wanna do a car lease, I wanna do that. Um, and then basically contact us. Or if you've got a technical issue, please feel free to just put it up there. Um, you can see up the top here, this is a Google search. So if I wanted to do an SMSF loan, um, which is a document that uh, essentially is a, a loan agreement from a self managed super fund to a related party, such as a trust, a family company, or an independent uh, third party, then I'd use that uh, agreement. The one that's really big at the moment is obviously the investment strategy. So I just go in and have a look there. And you can see we've got two there. One is for the whole fund where we've only got one investment strategy for the fund or member directed, for example, where we've got different generations. We might have one uh, member who might have an LRBA and they've got the parents inside the fund and you choose that. So I'll come back and look at that a little bit later on. I just need to show you a couple other things. Every Thursday, uh, we have an update to our platform. So we introduce a new product, um, a, a new idea, etc. So make sure you register for that. And uh, each week you'll get notification of what that webinar is. Um, and look, they're, they're the best way to learn of the way around our system. You've got your three platforms there. Obviously, if you're looking at this, you've already signed up uh, in one way, shape or form. Make sure the best way I, I like is obviously the, um, the LY strategist. Uh, because uh, particularly those who need CPD and technical support uh, from me personally, that's the best way there. Um, contact us, um, then you go down to our full document listing here. Um, you've got a whole range of uh, commercial documents, NDAs, commercial property leases, deed of gifts for UPEs and trusts, all purposes loan agreements, see that SMSF loan, mortgage deed, partnerships, Div 7A, all kept up to date. Uh, we also go down for there is um, we've got uh, here uh, trusts, a whole range of trusts. Uh, we've got the non-foreign purchaser, which is really hot at the moment, so you don't get excess stamp duty uh, or land tax if you are a property holder in various states. We've got trust distribution minutes. Uh, you've got the declaration of trust. Um, if someone buys something, you don't know that where it's gonna go, whether it's in super fund or wherever. We've got leading member discretionary trust, which are essentially like lineage or bloodline trusts. Um, there's a whole stuff of that. Fixed unit trust for New South Wales, superannuation unrelated investment trust where uh, SMSFs invest together and no one has more than 50% holding. 1322C, this, look, there's just lots of stuff. Uh, we've got a full suite um, of uh, companies. Uh, we've got a whole lot of stuff around um, self-managed super funds, uh, estate planning. You can see there's wills. The moat is awesome. So that does an EPOA, an SMSF will, and a will together. That's a strategy automation. So for those of you who are on unlimited LY firm, have a really good look at that. Family allowance agreement, setting up a family allowance monthly stipend to ensure that we're not class, we are classified as tax dependents uh, on death. Uh, that's good for adult children, during powers of attorney, SMSF wills. As you can see, we've got everything, you know, basically everything there. Um, all of it signed off by Abbott Morley. If you'd like to get a copy of our legal letter of advice as to why you would not be classi classified as doing legal professional privilege, put your name and also your email in there. So it's an awesome system. Um, we've got a whole lot of stuff coming, as I said, like we've got uh, uh, motor vehicle leases, uh, rural leases, we've got plenty of stuff there. In terms of SMSFs, obviously, that's my bread and butter. We've got absolutely everything plus a lot more that you would never even thought about. Remember, just go to your support button. I've got this issue with a client. What document do I want? Um, and if we haven't got it, guess what? I'm going to make it for you. Support center is a really good feature um, here. 
You've got uh, a lot of our webinars and trainings. Um, you'll see here that on the webinars and trainings, um, we go, these are the monthly, uh, sorry, the weekly uh, webinars. Uh, we had one yesterday, uh, which was on how Abbott Morley can uh, help you in terms of signing off for wills and testamentary trusts. We've got our wills and testamentary trusts, SMSF investment strategies, the protector, which is absolutely crucial, discretionary trust vesting, and you have a look there, we've got you know, we've got virtually everything, loan suites, binding death benefit directions, um, all purposes unit trusts. We've got uh, SMSF wills, we've got client engagement letters. Remember that suit I was talking about. We can also go back and we've also got a whole set of stuff there to make your job easier as an accountant, financial planner. So if you're looking at uh, a letter for uh, the protector, which is a special uh, purpose uh, equity protection plan that effectively puts uh, all the equity you have in assets such as homes and shares and property that sit outside trusts uh, into a special uh, lineage or bloodline trust, uh, thereby protecting for family provisions and also litigation. Absolutely crucial for, it, for all of us anyway, personally. Investment strategy upgrade letter, you'll find their wills and testamentary trusts, EPOAs. So what a leading member is. There's, there's a lot of stuff there for you. So you can just have a look at the wills and testamentary trust letter. You just get that, it's just a straight docx. So you can punch that up, goes in and we've got the, the letter there. You can see one, there's the, the moat. It goes through there and then you just complete it as you see fit. So that's me writing copy as to why you need to do your wills. You put your pricing in there and then you've got your data capture as well. So it's basically, it's all done for you. So let's actually go into the site. So um, I talked about the investment strategy. You can see here on the support center. Um, at any point in time, um, you can just simply ask us a question, go back into Lightyear Docs, and we might just go and do an investment strategy for the fund. I won't go into a huge amount of detail. You can find about the product, general information, so it'll give you an idea whether the product is for you. But again, just use the support ticket if you want. So because I'm not, um, you know, I've got unlimited documents, I can just start the document. Now this is really important. So your documentation will be stored within your personal secure vault. So this is unlike any other system that you've used. So you need to, at the outset, and this is absolutely crucial, is when this page comes up, you see folder details. This is in your account. And if you are, for example, um, just in, in our team at all, we've got about 10 users. So you can have unlimited users using through your one login. But it's important that you have the, um, uh, the, the right folder. So here I'm gonna go test for vault. Um, and that's my new folder. So that way I've got that test for vault and that's important. Now I'm going to the investment strategy for the fund. I'm gonna show you, so this actually takes us into the system that's used by more than 1.3 million legal firms around the world. So it's a, it's a great system. Uh, we go inside and then it loads up for us. And you can see it pops up. So we've got a whole lot of stuff that's going down. On the left hand side, these are all interviews. So the reason that we can give sign off is that there's only a certain amount of boxes that you can inject stuff in. So that uh, what we do is we lock down all the real legalese. Now, because you've set up a folder, remember we set up as test for vault, we need to know the name of the document so we can easily retrieve it. So I'm gonna put Smith Investment Strategy. Now, if you are an LY strategist or a licensee, you're gonna have a logo tag, which you'd insert there, and that enables you to white label the service. Here, I'm gonna use the Abbott Morley, which is obviously, uh, we send all our documents out through Abbott Morley. Now, a couple of things I'll just go through. Um, I, if you want, I won't, won't have a huge, uh, I'm not gonna take you through the investment strategy because you can find that on the support center, but it's got a deed of rectification, it has a trustee, got a diversification letter from the thing. Do you want to customize investment objectives? So it's pretty easy. I mean, if you don't know the date, uh, if you know the date the fund was established, you just simply put it in there in this manner and form, 2012. Um, what's the end date of the current income year? So just make sure you read all of these. And again, if you've got an issue, please just contact us, 3rd of June, 2020. Do you want to have a customized investment objective? Otherwise, it's just this one. So you'd say no. Has the trustee of the fund received a diversification letter from commission taxation? You go no. Um, if you've got earlier strategies that you don't believe meet the commissioner's guidelines, then you'd say yes. And then you can rectify and ratify those earlier dates up to four years. And that will just give you some um, sense of 
a compliance measure. Now I won't go into anything further. Again, if there's ever issue, support up here on the way through, make sure that you save answers. Now this is absolutely crucial because you'll see, I'm gonna take you where to go very shortly, um, that um, because it's a legal system, if you leave the um, if you leave the system unintended for like three or four minutes and you're not going in and doing things, then what happens is the session uh, tends to expire. So save answers on the way through. And if you save answers on the way through, um, you're actually gonna see. So let me just quit out of that. I'll go back to my product categories and I'll go up to Lightyear Docs demo and you actually have a look because I saved it my in progress documents. See there, test for Vault. So I open that, click the plus, and then I relaunch. So it's good, that way I'm never gonna miss out, I'm never gonna have that session expired. And you can see there that page and that page is completed. At any point in time, I can do a document preview if I wanna do that. So what I'll do is that'll come up and you can see that this is what it looks like. Now I haven't completed all these details, so those codes or those fields that are non-legal based do not apply. I can check all my answers. Um, oh, sorry, you can see there I've got a return. It's pretty intuitive, it tells you what to do. So I go back to the interview. I can then check all my answers here. So, you know, I don't know what the fund is. I've got the dates, all of that. So this is a good way to find out what all the interview questions are. But really, if you are unlimited, it doesn't make any difference. Help, don't worry about that. That's more for a uh, technical support. So that's the way it goes through. Um, then at the end, um, what we do is we'll go through and I'll see if I can finish. Um, it may let me finish here um, if there's unanswered stuff. Sometimes it doesn't, uh, but here I'm gonna finish. Now, obviously there's gonna be a lot of uh, code that's uh, not in there. And that will pop a PDF um, of the actual document. As you can see here, I download it. I can press it open and you're gonna start. See, remember we've got all of this. This is open because I didn't complete the fields. So that's not a bad idea. So the good thing about it is go to the end, finish it off. So at least it's got in your system. Now it means, oh gosh, if I can see that, it means that I haven't completed those. But I've got everything there. See the de rectification because I, I tick that box, I'm gonna rectify early years. So that's just an additional document. Now, if I press no, that wouldn't have popped up. So just be careful with the interview, go through it in detail. So going back here, um, it's like, well, okay, so um, I'll go back to home. Now I wanna go back in, I know that I've got an unfinished document. Uh, I go into not my in progress because I've already done that. I go into my vault, test for vault, bingo, there it is. So I can delete it. I can download it or I can open it up again and then I can go through and uh, complete all the relevant questions. So you can see it's all basically up there and off and running. The vault stays open for six months so you can go and change it at any point in time, complete the document, get it all ready, get the client in, put all the relevant dates in, when is it actually going to be the date that we're gonna do this and then essentially we're off and running. So that's a really good quick look around of the Lightyear Docs site. Again, support, we're there to help you at any point in time.